All right. Thanks for the heads up. Just did a restart of the program. Uh, we're back. We're back for more forest. That's right. It's happening. It's real. Let's see how it goes. Do my little intro here again. I had some mic, some mic issues. Uh, it's been a couple days. All right, let's try again. Fisher, my friend, can you hear me? We are live. <clears throat> All right, back to the forest. Confused about where we are. Confused about where we're supposed to go. Um, man, I don't really want to waste sticks on building a fire, but I, I do. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. I don't want to waste sticks on a fire, but I really want them bones. Maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this is bad. Forgot about the time you needed to take care of these bastards. Yeah, do it. Jesus. Bad idea to waste time, like, screaming at me or screeching or whatever. It's like uh, a villain in a movie that, like, does a monologue. And then the hero has time to, like, you know, kill him. Throw him off a building, whatever. I don't think there's a reason to fight these guys if I don't have to. Let's just keep moving. Dynamite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take dynamite. Alright, looks like only the crates with like, writing on them have... stuff in them. Alright, this, this, uh... the breather's gotta come off. This flashlight is not doing shit. Is it, like, out of batteries? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh my god! God, the way they, like, crawl away like that. Burn it with fire! Kill it dead! No, how's it going, buddy? It's been a hot minute since I've been online. Welcome, how's your morning going? How's your weekend going? How's your new baby? Dude, congratulations! Known in the house... Putting new people into the world.
A baby's good. That's good to hear, man. I hope everything went as smoothly as possible. I hope the family is well. Um, and it's good to see it. It's also good to be seen. Oh, wait, maybe I did go through this way? I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I should be doing right now. I found a way into the sinkhole. I th thought I was exploring the sinkhole cave, but maybe I'm not. Yeah, absolutely, man. Have a good time. Um, I'm doing a short stream today, and then I'm on Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll be gone for a week. So if I don't see you, have fun, have a successful stream, and we will get together again soon. By now, they just slide out. <laughs> All right, so I, this is the way I came from. So weird, it connects. It connects to the baby cave somehow, it looks like. Ye old baby cave. Maybe it goes under it. Maybe this actually is a new cave. I mean, I've obviously never found anything like this before. Alright, well, let's continue past. Let's continue past this, uh... This tent over here. Hey, Nefarious Tarnus! How's it going, buddy? Welcome. Uh, we're doing okay. Um, we've made a little bit of progress, uh, last session. It's been like, it's been like a week since I got on. I've been a little sick, and I'm just now starting to feel a little better, so, um, we're doing a short stream to get today just to let you guys know that I'm still around. We're still gonna continue this thing. Uh, I gotta work in, like, three or so hours, but, um, if you're familiar with this game, I can't remember the last time you stopped in, but I'm, uh, I found the bottom of the sinkhole, and I am searching the sinkhole cave. The hell is that? Oh, that looks awful. I don't like that drawing at all. Hmm. Some sort of vault? Some sort of vault door? Hmm. What the hell? What the fuck do we do here? We need like a, a key card or something? I don't think I have anything like that. I have cassettes and explosives and coins. I definitely don't have a key card. Not gonna ruin anything. <laughs> Thanks. The only reason I'm concerned about this is because if I can't get through here, like the amount of backtracking I have to do is ridiculous. It certainly looks like some sort of key card thing. And I already had to like cheat my way through, but like I don't have the climbing gear yet, so I don't think I was even supposed to be able to get here, but I managed to do like a crazy jump that got me. It got me over to here. Like the amount of backtracking I have to do to get back out is gonna take hours. Well, 
I'm out of fuel. So that's not going to work. I can't hit it. I doubt I can blow it up. <clears throat> I have no idea. symbols mean there's like wires but it doesn't look like I can cut them or anything god I really don't I really hope I don't have to backtrack It doesn't look like I can, I can, like... Like, it doesn't look like there's any way to, like, blow any of this up, though. Can't, like... I don't want to waste... Like, it's locked. It's, it's not acting like I can put this explosive anywhere. Have fun, he says. Progress was going so good, you know? <clears throat> the real problem is I don't have enough food to make it back out. I do not have enough food. There's nothing in any of these crates. All right, why can, why can they walk, but I have to swim? If there's like another way out. All right, now I don't need sodas. I need fucking food. All right, wait a second. This this seems like it's another direction. Also, it's not showing my map anymore, so it's like I can't. I can't find anything in my map. Here, hold on. I have batteries. Let's use my flashlight. Right, there's a there's dead bodies here though, so I, I feel like I did come through here. There's gotta be something else in this room. This room's huge. Alright, there's more dudes there. This. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck these guys. <laughs> I don't like them. Man, I'm just hoping there's, like, a rope or something that I've missed. What are you laughing at? You think this is funny? Right, 
Back that is back there is like the way back. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like them. They're obnoxious. God, I got excited. I thought I found. I thought I found another direction, but it looks like it's all just the same. all dead and it all funnels you through here. More boxes with nothing. They're all just they're all blank boxes with nothing. This just circles around to that same area. You know, I, I don't want to use my flashlight too much. I just don't want to miss anything. It's so easy to get turned around without my flashlight, though. I'm gonna bleed through these batteries really quick. Yeah, ho, BC, what's going on, buddy? It's been a hot minute, man. What are you up to these days? Well, I know you're. I know you're super busy with the, uh, the RIT or the, uh, you know, the game dev thing. Good to see you, man. Ah, see, there's only one way. It's it's just this way. Wait, am I going back the? Oh, I did get turned around. This is going back towards the sinkhole. Right? Man, I'm so confused in here. Yeah, this is back towards the sinkhole. Problem is, I'm gonna starve. I'm gonna run out of food. And I don't know... I don't know how to handle that. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, this game is a survival horror first-person exploration game. Um, unfortunately, you caught me in a sort of stuck moment. Um, I'm sort of lost. I think I'm near endgame, to be honest. But I'm, I'm pretty lost at the moment. Um, you crash land on this island, or maybe it's a peninsula, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, Fisher. Thanks, man. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Um, so you crash down in this place, and there's, like, lots of dead bodies, and they're all, like, skinned and, like, hanging out to dry, literally. And they're, like... And... You end up finding these, like, caves, and they're full of mutant cannibals. And you gotta craft stuff, and... It's... It's horrific, and... It's... It's cool. Um... And you're sort of trying to, like, figure out the mystery of the place, um, as well as just survive day to day. Alright, wait, did I just do a full circle, or is this a different... This is... I, dude, I can never tell. Yeah, I just did a full fucking circle. And the caves are always really fucking dark. Dude, I'm gonna waste another set of batteries. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I explain the game very well. I'm sort of perplexed at the moment. And I'm banging my head against the wall trying to figure out this room because if I can't get out of this room, then I have a crazy amount of backtracking to do. And I don't want to. Like, I, I almost feel like I got to this room before I was supposed to be able to, to be honest. 
and that makes me sad. Okay, it looks like this is the only way to go. Problem is, you can, like, you can sort of, like, jump to lots of places that... Like, the way the physics work, you can sort of jump places that you... I feel like you're not supposed to be able to go, and you're never sure if you're actually exploring. And I did a jump to get here. And I feel like maybe I shouldn't have been able to. Alright, well, let's go look at the door one more time. So, like, something underwater. Hey, Nefarious, I know... I know you didn't want... You don't want to, like, give anything away. And I agree, I don't want, like, spoilers, but... I guess I'm curious, like... I don't... Okay, I don't have the climbing gear. Am I supposed to be here? Like, am I just wasting my precious time? without any food, like, trying to, like, figure out what to do here. Like, am I supposed to have something already? It feels like I'm supposed to have something. If there's some vague way to answer that that doesn't, like, give away the answer, that'd be awesome. If not, then just continue watching me struggle. <laughs> Maybe if I, like, uh, can I break these other lights? Does that do anything? Doesn't seem to be the case. No, it doesn't seem to do anything. This is just like locked. I can't hit it. I'm sure dynamite's not gonna work, you know? Like, it's just, there's no chance. Pixel says, continue watching the struggle. <clears throat> Pixel, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it has been a little while. Um, I was pretty sick for a week, and I streamed on Monday, and it just made me feel worse, all the talking, so I rested up a bunch. Uh, this is going to be a short stream today. I do have to work today, and tomorrow, and Sunday, and Monday, and then I leave on Tuesday for a week, so... I wanted to stop in at the very least, um, you know, and just just check in and play a little bit. Um, I'll be back to my normal, regular schedule after Thanksgiving. American Thanksgiving. Sorry, I forget that people are, are from all over, the, all, over, uh, all over the world here. <laughs> yeah, Pixel, I'm just... I don't remember if you've played this game or not. Um, I'm sort of stuck because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be at this point yet, and I have to do a crazy amount of backtracking to get out of here if I'm not supposed to be here. So that's why I'm a little... I don't know. I might have to actually reload my save, because at least I have a couple food things. Like, if I'm going to have to backtrack, I'm going to reload my save and then start, because I had, like... I, I've, I've used, like, two energy bars since then. I mean, let's, I don't know, let's try and blow it up, I guess? Yeah, that didn't work. Didn't work at all. We're gonna, we're gonna reload my save. Just because I get the feeling that I get the feeling that I shouldn't be here yet. And if that's true, it makes me feel sort of uh, because the fact that I was able to get here and not able to progress kind of sucks. It kind of sucks if that is actually what happened. Ah, I'm playing a game you've never heard of. All right, no worries then. 
No worries. Here, hold on. Wanna... Hit him. There we go. Oh, that was much easier. Well, I guess we'll just start backtracking. Uh... Die. Can I have a light out, please? Thank you. Man and Conquer remakes? Interesting. I never really played Command and Conquer. <clears throat> um, I was never particularly good at. Oh Jesus! Hold on. Hey, get down! What are you doing? You're dead. Die. Yeah, I got my, my bloody flashlight again. Um, yeah, I never really played Command & Conquer. Uh, I was never particularly good at real-time strategy games. I prefer, like, tactical turn-based strategy. Um, and when I did... Like, back then, I played Total Annihilation. That was, that was my real-time strategy game. Um, but I know Command & Conquer was obviously very, very popular. It was a much beloved game. Well, we shall go back. See if maybe I find something I missed. Such a long way. Such a long way. Yeah, totally. It was like, it was definitely a big deal. Um. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, like, you know, I played some StarCraft and all that sort of stuff. I just, I couldn't, I never could get my reactions fast enough to be, like, really particularly good. Yeah, like, you had one one option on either side sort of thing for, like, years at a time. Yeah, now there's tons of... Now there's choice all over the place. For sure. Oh, there's more bones here. Bones collected. Collect the bones. find my way back to this nightmare. I'm gonna try and do as much of this as possible with my with my lighter. <clears throat> Lots of skulls. I still can't believe I have to backtrack all the way through this again.
Oh, my air tank. Ah, uh, yeah, I never played the original, uh, the original XCOMs. Oh god, they don't change the- oh my god, they don't change the things! I can't go into my inventory when I'm underwater. Oh my god, alright, well. I have air tanks, I thought it would automatically switch them. Wow. <clears throat> That's the first legitimate time I've ever actually died. <clears throat> <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, they they have a hardcore mode or whatever. I certainly would never play this game in hardcore mode though. At least not trying to like finish the story or this is just too much nonsense that goes on. All right, shit, we gotta do this again now. These guys keep spawning weird. <laughs> That's how you do things with a machete. I was I was bad mouthing the machete at first, saying it was no good, but the fact that you can just like fall off and go crazy with it, it's pretty intense. No, but I, I'm I'm aware of Xenonauts as well. I know it's kinda like the original, it's kind of like the original idea, whatever, behind that sort of thing. Yeah, and absolutely, I can't imagine trying to play that real time. It doesn't make any sense. Come on, buddy. Where are you going? Where'd you go? You wanna play? Where are you going? <laughs> Shit, there's dynamite in here and I forgot about it. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. I don't want to I don't want to not have that if I suddenly come across a situation in which I need it. Uh no, I didn't finish XCOM. I so I don't I'm not considering XCOM like a real let's play. Um <clears throat> I uh I get the feeling that I probably failed that playthrough that I was working on, to be honest. Um, so I might go back to it. Um, but it's, to me, it's sort of like an in-between game where it's like, you know, I'll, I'll play a couple sessions and see if I can get through the campaign. And I ended up losing, like, everyone. I, I lost pretty much everyone. Like, I'm back to all rookies, and I'm, like, halfway through, and I think I've already... I mean, because you know how XCOM works, right? It's like, there's a point at which you might get too far, like the, the Avatar project might get too far along, and if you haven't made decent enough headway, there's not really any coming back, you know? 
So that's that's kind of the point I'm at right now. Um, so I might try that game again, but more that most likely, I'll I'll push it back for the time being. Um, I have I have another game that I'm I'm ready to start after the forest, and then like sometime in between there, I'll probably do a, a new campaign of XCOM. Um, Yeah. And I mean, I've, I've played a lot of XCOM before. I have hundreds and hundreds of hours, so it's like, I understand generally how it works. It's just, I, uh... I, I view it more like a roguelike in a way, where it's like, you try your best to get through, and if you sort of lose everyone, well, it's better just to start over, rather than try and keep beating your head against a wall. Um, I'm thinking, um, speaking of survival games, uh, I picked up a copy of Sunless Sea that I'm looking forward to trying out. Are you familiar with Sunless Sea? Sunless Sea is like a top-down roguelike survival story game where it's like it takes place in like a destroyed London. It's like a Cthulian kind of thing where it's like Cthulhu monsters like destroyed London and the world's enveloped in darkness and you have like a steamship and you're kind of just like trying to survive in in the waters in the darkness finding like different ports of harbor and fighting monsters and like your crew you're trying to keep your crew alive and they can go insane and they can like you might have to resort to cannibalism like it's yeah ship survival thingy yep yep uh that just seems like it'd be a neat a neat kind of game to sort of like you know go through and you know you kind of just you make your own story as you go go along yeah, BC. Uh, I've, I've heard about it for a while, and I finally found it on sale. It's, like, super thematic and deep. Um, sort of has elements of... Alright, hold on. Before I go up there... Sort of reminds me of Darkest Dungeon a little bit, in terms of, like dealing with your your crew's uh like sanity hey skill step what's going on um and they're actually they're coming out with a sci-fi one called sunless sky uh very soon uh so i wanted to give the original a try hey skill step so Oh, you just bought the forest yesterday. Cool. All right, well, then I won't say what I was going to say because I, I forgot. I can't remember who who's played this game and who hasn't. I'm in a bit of a shitty situation where I have to... Yeah, right, BC? I love that opening pitch. That's definitely... Like, I've been looking at the game for a while, but that was the the winner. That was the thing that really got me to like, be like, hey, I'm gonna buy this. Gonna buy it. Oh, you did already play it. Yeah, so I... I ran into a shitty situation where I think I got to a point where I wasn't supposed to be. Like, I got to a locked door that had, like, a keycard reader or something. And I think I'm stuck. Like, I don't think I'm supposed to be there, and I don't have enough food. Like, I have to start backtracking now. 
So I have to backtrack all the way through this whole area. To get back out to, like, the, the outside. And I'm not super happy about it. I'm not super happy that I was allowed to get to the point that I was. Without having the, the, the needed equipment. <clears throat> feels bad, man. Unless maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah, I'm at the bottom of the pit. So I went all the way into, like, the sinkhole cave. There's, like, a, a cave under the water in here. And I got all the way to the end of what I think is the end of it. There was a part where I was supposed to have the climbing gear to get by. I don't have it. I managed to just, like, cheese, like, jump the rocks and managed to make it across. Try using the turtle shell to fall into the pit. That's a good... That's a good idea. I wonder if it'll work. See, now I have to remember my way through this entire fucking place. Like, I have no idea. No idea where the, the closest entrance was. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm pumped. I'm pumped about Sunless Sky. Or Sunless Sea. I still do want to do, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Shadow Warrior 2 at some point. But, like, Shadow Warrior 2 is, like, it's gonna be, like, just an action-heavy game without, like, much thinking to it, I feel like, and not much story, so that's why I'm kind of putting it off. See, more climbing gear stuff, like... I just, I feel like I'm supposed to have the climbing gear by this point. <clears throat> Excuse me, clearing my throat a lot, too, by the way. Sorry, it's like, I was a little sick and I'm, I'm still sort of, like, getting over it. The narrative. I'm sure the narrative is pretty similar. That narrative arc doesn't seem too deep to me. Wait. Have I not been here before? This is a whole no like another wall? This map is so useless. I want those sticks. Oh man, I need a fire too. And I'm gonna get turned around in here real quick. You no know, mess with Lo Wang. Um, I think that I think those regrew, like the, that those that wall, like respawned. Skull lamps to mark where you've been in the cave. Yeah, that's a good point. You know what, I need to... I need to build a... <clears throat> uh, why can't... 
Why can't I light this fire? What's going on right now? Are you kidding me? I can't light this fire? God damn it. I just wasted those sticks. Yeah, the map is just garbage. I mean, I like that it's it makes it, you know, a little bit more real. Like, you can't really tell where you are, but, I mean, come on. This is just, like, it's just... It, like, you, you have a general sense of which direction you're going, but that's about it. Batteries do I have left? Eight. Let's throw that fire. This goes. Where the hell does this go? There's a rope up. Well, I mean, a rope up seems generally like a good idea. We're trying to get out of here. There's a way down. This is probably a dead end, right? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think this is a dead end. There's more red paint. Old gun ammo? Yeah, like this, this is a dead end. Right? Got this red paint thing, which we have no idea what it does. I guess I'll use it, though. I'm sure it's going to get washed off when I go in the water. Hmm. So is this actually a way to go, or is this just, like, a dead end and there was, like, something down here that I picked up? This is essentially a dead end. Yeah. Just a place to find stuff. Just wandering around in the dark. Body parts in the water. It's 
Let's get warm real quick. Again, I hope I have enough food to actually get me out. <clears throat> Let's go back to using my lighter. All right, so coming up here was not not the way to go. <clears throat> this should go back to the big room. I don't think this room has a has a, a way out, like up to the surface. But I think it, I think it's close to one. Wasn't there a rope somewhere? Man, the light on that rebreather is so good. <clears throat> Wish I could just use that all the time. It's weird that these, uh, these walls keep respawning. idea if I'm going the right way. Like, not even on the map. I mean, I guess. Let's sleep here. Or let's save here. Or, okay, we'll, we'll do a different slot just in case I've taken too long to get to this point. Hey, BC, what are you playing these days? Have you had any time to, uh, to play anything? You still playing, um... No Man's Sky? The Last of Us Remaster. Is that your first time playing Last of Us? First playthrough. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, the first time through Last of Us is quite a trip. <clears throat> it's a good game. This is a good game. Uh, about how far, like, what's, what's the major story beat at this point? Oh, there's a guy there. Die. Die. Die forever. Currently in Pittsburgh. I think I know what you're talking about.
Dude, I'm gonna like just barely make it out of this cave. Is that night sky I see? Oh, see, this is another point at which I need the climbing gear, though. Yeah, No Man's Sky. It looked like you were having a good time. I, I haven't touched it since the opening weekend, like, back when it released. <clears throat> Skill stuff. That's because I killed them all. <clears throat> I killed them all my first, my first time through. But I, I'm... Uh... I'm worried that I ruined my game, honestly, because the way I got down here was not the legitimate way. Like, I'm supposed to be able to climb across here, but I just literally jumped down when I played. <clears throat> oh my god, I made it. <laughs> All right. pile of something over there. Again, climbing gear. Need climbing gear. Yeah, I can't reload a save. I only have one save. And it's down in this hole. Which maybe was a dumb thing to do with a game like this. <laughs> yeah. I just kept resaving over the same thing. Now we're back in the area with all the fucking weird tennis pros all bound up. Hey, BC, thanks so much for stopping in, man. Pleasure to have you. Hope to see you again soon. Have a good time with Last of Us. Creepy tennis ball people. Weird, gross motherfuckers. Got more energy bars, at least. Another watch. If and when I ever get out of here, I think... I think before I come back down, I need to go, like, look at the rest of the caves. More than one climbing gear. Well, even if I do find it, I need... I need a key card or something. I need a key card. It seems. Because there's a big door that I got to. Ooh, batteries. I like that. There's a big door I got to that's locked. And... There's like a card reader, it looks like, on it. Um, there's also... 
there's one cave that I found not not in this area, but like back outside. And I couldn't even go into that cave without the the climbing gear. So I'm curious about what's what's in there. If maybe that's where whatever this key card is that I need or whatever. Is that another? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well, shit, now I'm a little turned around. God damn it. Let's pull out let's pull out our flashlight again. It's hard to get your bearings with just the, the lighter sometimes. Alright, need climbing gear to get up there. Let's try that rope. Man, Subnautica is so good. I hope you have a, a freaking great time playing it. I enjoy that game a lot. Oh, I can't get to that rope because it's way over there. And we're assuming I can't make that jump, right? Oh my god, I made it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Alright, well. I'm gonna go ahead and... Save it on slot two. Yeah. Game is super awesome. Now I've never taken this rope, so this is this is something different. Hopefully this progresses me somewhere where I want to be. Okay, that goes up further. Anything else here? All right, I can maybe jump over there, but I don't really know what I'd want to. I think we're just going to take this rope. seen this area on YouTube. Straining order. More notes that I really don't know what they what they mean. More paintbrush red paint, which we don't really know what it means. We keep finding them. We can keep putting paint on ourselves. We have no idea why. Here, creatures. Alright, there's like two ways to go. Hold on, let's...
Another piece of the toy. <clears throat> Here, let's go down here first, and then if not, we'll go back the other way. Oh god, more babies. That means there's probably a mutant. Oh, oh! Give me your shit suitcases. You still alive? Are you alive? You're dead. That's scream. Oh, yeah, I know. I probably shouldn't be using my flashlight. Let's use the lighter as much as we can here. Oh, I've been here before. Pretty sure I've been here. Up. That way. That goes back down. I'll go back. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm sure you're not crazy. It's just like, it's just very dark and it's hard to, it's hard to find your whereabouts. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. This is a bad place to fight. Man, I want him to like fall off the edge. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I like that gif a lot. Nah, it's alright, I don't care. 
This is a mature stream. Oh god, it's stuck. go mature, mature stream for immature people yes absolutely So what, he was just hanging out on this ledge? I'm really sure I've been on this ledge before. All right, well, I guess we just continue. I think the best bet is honestly just to to get back topside and then get our shit together again and and come back down. Three way split cavern. <clears throat> I knew this was going to be a crazy amount of backtracking. Oh my god, we did it though. We did it. Alright. Top side. Holy shit. Well, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to put a flag here. This is the one... This is the way I know that gets me down, like, into the sinkhole or whatever. Stick marker. Alright. The yellow flag gets us down into the sinkhole. And it's way up north. Um, Alright, so hold on. All right, we have a base right up here. Let's go up to this base and we can save and do whatever we need to do. Do I have a turtle shell? I do, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna wanna collect sticks. I'm gonna want dry food. I'm not gonna be able to do. I'm not gonna be able to go back down there again today. Uh, I, mean, I have too much stuff to do today. But yeah, I agree. Yeah, one save for outside and one for in the caves. Lesson learned for sure. Okay. So our outside save will be slot one, and then when we're in the caves, we'll use slot two. Look at all this look at all this stuff I I did ahead of time. I'm so smart <laughs> in some ways. Um, all right, our water skin's already full, so we can just go ahead and drink that. And we can grab one of these. This stuff I imagine is yeah, edible. Great. Eat it. I can't remember if dried meat goes bad or not. Yeah, I I did some smarts. I also think there's stuff up north, but I don't have a I don't have a warm suit yet. Um what I wanna do hold on. 
Oh. Can I not hit those birds? There we go. I want some of these feathers that are floating around. Come on. Come down. There we go. I want to make sure I have a bunch of feathers. A little too high. Can't carry any more small meat. Right. Um, then what meat are we... I can't, like, decide... Here, equip... I can't, like, decide which meats to put on. Oh, maybe I can't dry small meat. I probably should raid, <clears throat> before I go back down, raid a couple more of those, uh... Those things, uh, like the, the creature-like areas. Um, what are we going? Creature camps or whatever? Like, get more batteries... Maybe get some more um, uh, ingredients for explosives. Maybe some more snacks. <sighs> that creepy armor, though. Yeah, I think I have most of the toy. Um, I mean, I don't know what's north. I could probably hunt some more. I don't remember what I need. I'll have to check. Wasting this meat because I can't choose. Let's go pick up some of it. Oh, it's small meat. I can't use the small meat to dry, I guess. Someone was just missing the head in another one. There we go. I want to make that. It's like I don't. All right. Dried meat. Dry meat, dry meat. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I have no idea where I found each of them, you know? It's just, they're just fucking all over the place. <clears throat> so the dead cave and the wet cave. Find a way to climb rock walls. One of those caves, I'm pretty sure... I think one of them is in the far east, and I believe that's the one where I needed climbing gear to even, like, go anywhere in. And I think the dead cave is somewhere in the south. And I think that's one of the first ones I ever found. So maybe I'll go south. Also, let's find out what I need for the warm suit. I need raccoon, four boar, six deer. I need one more deer. I need a whole bunch of boar. Where 
pretty sure I had the raccoon. Oh, yeah, I have the raccoon. Okay. I just need three boar and one deer. Let's say it doesn't show me on this map, does it? There's no way. There's no way it would be that helpful. I can't see any indication on the map of like where certain things spawn, so I think I just gotta reach over there. I'll just get away from camp. Let's just head south. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you're there. You're very... Jesus, there's a lot of them out now. Guy's moving fast. Babies on the beach. Babies on the beach. I'm not gonna fuck with them. Don't fuck with babies. I don't know what this flag is over here. I feel like that was just a test flag and I don't really need it. Remember this campsite? Let's see if there's anything here. Grab it. You scared me, rabbit. Yeah, I've been here before. Gross. Gross. Borderline rude. Prime place to fill up water. A little base here. Where's this? Alright, it's just west of the sinkhole. Got some fish and stuff. Gonna cook one of these small meats. What's my arrow situation? Seventeen, huh? It's not great. Oh, 
certainly made that easy for me. Thank you, dear. Alright, well now I just need three boar. to our original crash site where it all began oh. um All right, let's go east from here. A little bit south. Wait, hold on. Black oh, twin berries. I don't really need twin berries, but I guess I'll take them. Right, we're gonna go southeast and check out this cave over here. Jesus <clears throat> Christ. I don't remember if this one I've been in or not. Okay, I, I think this is one of the first ones, and I didn't finish it. I think this is like the first place I saw a mutant and I ran away. <clears throat> Oh, a whole bunch of guys in here. Hey! You rude dick. Alright, yeah, we got a mutant. We're definitely staying up here and doing it this way. Yeah, 
There we go. Not fucking around with him. Just doing the job and moving along. Another passenger. He looks like he's great. He's doing just fine. A rope down, it looks like. It was actually pretty large. Hey, hey, welcome back. All right, this seems to connect to a place I've been before. I don't think I want to go this way then. I'll try and stick to areas on the map that look brand new. Alright, so back here. Where was that rope that went down? To the north. Hmm? I only have about 10 minutes left, unfortunately. Ooh, more stuff. The torso. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the wall with the crucifix is on it. Yeah, I, I found that already. Tennis ball. Holding a tennis ball together. go we put the toy back together so you can make two of them I don't know either way we have the toy let's go up here and see where it goes This one goes way, way, way up. I wonder if this is another entrance, like it just goes outside. Looks like that might be the case. Oh yeah, it's just another entrance. Change during development, huh? So I'm way to the east of the original way into the cave. Well, given that I only have like another another few minutes, I might put down. There's no trees here, unfortunately. Can't make like a. Hmm. 
Problem is, I'm going to put down more of these markers, and I'm not going to know which one's which. I'm going to be like, next time I play, I'm going to be like, wait, what is this one? Why is that one? It's always the farthest away. Yeah, for sure. Can I just build a temporary shelter right here? That's kind of what I want to do. A lot of sticks, though. Well, we're going to do it. Put those leaves in. Oh no, it fell apart. Come on. That's horseshit. I would have saved first. God damn it. Um, the markers are all the same color, unfortunately. They're all yellow. Anytime you put down a stick, it's the same color. The purple one over there is just where my, uh, my log, my log holder is. God damn it. It said temporary shelter, but I assumed I would still be able to save. It's so fucking lame. I'm not being super efficient here, but just do what I gotta do. I really wish I didn't have to work today. I'd love to just do this all day long, to be honest. And change the color of the markers. It'd be cool. I certainly wish you could. If it's a thing, I would certainly do it. It seems like a thing that should be should be allowed. Really? I can't- I just can't find any sticks now? All this, just to try and save, you know? Do I need? There, I have enough now. Grab some of this stuff while I have the. Oh, batteries, yes. Love to see batteries. I see you over there. Oh my god, you're right there. Not in your cave. We're out in the great outdoors here. Not gonna do well against me here. All right. We're outside. So we're using slot one. 
Uh, and there we have it. That's where I have to call it for today, unfortunately. Um, as long as Fuzzy Blue and I are both feeling well tomorrow, we are probably going to stream some more of our Overcooked 2 couch co-op playthrough. So you have that to look forward to if you are interested in it. Uh, if not, I will probably be back on for my usual Monday morning stream. And we'll continue uh, with the forest. Uh, see if we can figure out what the hell we're doing. Figure out what we have to do to open up the door down in the sinkhole cave. Uh, so that's what's up. Skill step. Thanks for hanging out today. Much appreciated. Uh, I hope to see you again soon. I hope you have a great rest of your Friday. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, have a good one, man. See you later.